Nashville, supposedly they have – there's two ways that I know in and out. One of them, they have steel walls up, and the government is IDing anybody. If Even if you try to come in and you don't have a, a, a North Carolina driver's license, they have been turning away tractors, trailers full of donations and telling them to go somewhere else. They've been turning. Hang on, who's who's turning this away and why? So, re- refresh me. Just the federal government. They have walls up, and they're only letting people that have a North Carolina ID in and out. Period. Hold on. All right, all right. All right. You've said it twice. I'm just going to make sure I'm hearing this. So FEMA, who's supposed to be helping, has built a perimeter, and they're blocking assistance from coming in. This I'm not. I haven't been to the wall. I have talked to multiple sources of people that I know very well in Asheville. This is what they're telling me. The FEMA wall. Where exactly is that? That's outside of Asheville, or where is that? Where are you hearing that is? Yeah, it's outside of Asheville. I've also heard they're putting them up around other towns as well, like steel walls. Um, I know our local government was denied aid. Um, the only people here who in the world who in the world do you know who said no you don't qualify for aid during this natural disaster i don't want to say names okay um but i know that the red cross and fema were reached out to by the uh, local official government here and they were denied and told that towns like ours don't qualify for help I heard and have confirmed that FEMA, when they got there, went into volunteer areas of civilians and confiscated everything and told them if they weren't trained in a certain uh, program that they weren't allowed to help and that they would be arrested if they tried to. Uh, That's what we heard in Lahaina. We heard the same thing in Hawaii. I'm hearing it all over in a bunch of other towns. I just, I can confirm this one because I know the people. There's only so much we can do, but these are our families. These are our friends. These are our people out here, you know, Um, and people are doing everything they can, but it's going to get to a critical situation in the next couple of days that if things don't start flooding in here, like supplies and help, It's going to be devastating, and it seems like at least you can claim that it's like, oh, we don't want people to panic or anything or whatever, but the how this is being handled from the federal government, like, is blowing my entire mind. Like, I this has said into me, like, hey, nobody's coming for you, okay? You pay your taxes, you go to work, you do your thing. At the end of the day, they don't care about small towns. They're not coming for you. And if you can't take care of yourself, uh, you're going to be just sitting out in the mud till you starve to death. I mean, and it's happening to people all over the country right now. It's not even being talked about. Um, and and on, on that point, so I'm just, I'm trying to think like. Your- volunteers are being turned away. Supplies is being confiscated. And they're claiming like, hey, we're going to distribute it, but it has to be done. In a... So they're basically bottlenecking everything to the point where it they're taking their sweet ass time. And you can say like, oh, they just have red tape and they just have blah, blah, blah. Whatever it is, it's not a fucking enough. And it's causing more and more people to die and suffer every fucking day they do it. So.